so long since I've been on TikTok and I don't talk about politics anymore. I don't think about politics. It shows up in my life sometimes, but I try to avoid it. Let's talk about something that can help you, something that's beneficial. Red light, baby. All right. Now, of course, if you're outside for five minutes a day, not five minutes, five hours, I should say. If you're outside for multiple hours a day, you probably don't need something like this. Though you can use it for targeted treatment, for example, back pain like I do, okay? But you don't need something like this, generally. It'll probably still help you, but what this is doing primarily as an overall health modality is replacing some of the sun's rays, that full light spectrum, that we lack by spending most of our lives indoors modern humans. That's what we're trying to do with this. Now, that's the first reason why you want red light. The second, where there's a ton of research around, it's around targeted treatment, where so you, if you have pain or arthritis, or you need to regrow your hair, things like that. There's even some research about it being good for your eyes, though I wouldn't stare directly at it for a prolonged period of time. You can use this for targeted spot treatments, for rest recovery, pain management, uh, hair regrowth, et cetera. You're just trying to basically give your mitochondria a boost, get it going, right? The general use for this though, where you want it to kind of like once a day be as close six inches to 12, that's kind of where the most power is. Once a day, 20, 30 minutes, right? I usually just have it right here while I'm working. You're doing that to balance out your light nutrition needs, okay? Light as nutrition completely blew my mind, that idea, because I understand food nutrition, eat certain things, don't eat certain things, too much of bad things can kind of like lead to certain things, not enough of certain nutrients lead to issues. Light's the same way, okay? We have what's called a circadian rhythm, which I actually call a sun clock, because it's us directly connected with the sun. We evolved at the behest of the sun. The sun gave us light, gives all life on earth life, right? It fuels everything. So when the sun comes up in the morning, where we need those bright rays, that helps suppress melatonin production and release cortisol and a bunch of other hormone things that help wake you up, kind of go from groggy to being aware to being awake, and then energy levels start going up as melatonin suppression comes down, et cetera. Now, if you're not getting outside, and this is why Huberman talks about sunlight first thing in the morning is the most important thing because that actually sets your bedtime. It sets your sun clock, your circadian rhythm, which is why First thing in the morning, go outside and get sunlight in the eyes, on the skin, 30 minutes at least. Super, super important for everything, but especially for sleep, all right? But there's other reasons you want sunlight. You want it midday, because that kind of tells your body super bright out, and, uh, you know, I have about this many hours until bedtime. You want low light, dimmer light, that kind of is dimming as the sun is going down, because that's cueing to your biology that sleep is imminent. I should be going to sleep soon. And then you sleep when it's pitch black at night and you wake when it's not because our ancestors did not have light switches or devices, right? We might have had fire, but being able to actually have fire all the time, I mean, you know, it just wasn't a, a switch we could flip, right? We are designed to follow the sun. That's why I call it the sun clock, okay? If you're not getting daily sun, you're not getting the full spectrum, right? And, and light is basically radiation. That's what it is, right? You have certain amounts of light. You have blue lights. You have greens, purples, reds. You have the, in, the near infrared, which are these. This is why you don't actually see any light coming out of here. There's actually light coming out of these right here, but you can't see it. It's a light spectrum that humans can't see, okay? I think dogs can see it, but maybe not. I don't know. And then red is something we can see. And most of the research is around the 600 nm to I think it's like 900 nanometers is, is the word. And what you're doing is you're trying to get... Uh, those light spectrums into your body because they're most heavily researched. Now, of course, I think all light is beneficial. I mean, e there's even research around blue light being good for you, which kind of flies in the face of what most people think of, of blue light. The problem with blue light is we have too much of it and we have it at night, okay? That doesn't mean blue light is bad for you, but blue light at certain times of the day and certain doses might throw things off, keep you wired at night, mess with your melatonin, etc. And then in that case, you could say blue light is bad or at least too much of it right? So you're just trying to balance out your light nutrition. That's the most important thing here. I am completely and utterly obsessed with this. I mean, literally we sell these now in Wild Foods, which you can get all these different models, small size models. We even have a handhold model around here somewhere. Uh, stuff's amazing because it's so simple. And even as somebody who's self-conscious and spends a lot of time in the sun, I'm not going outside for hours a day, unless we're literally on vacation or going to the beach or something. I'm usually pulled inside in front of a screen where I spend most of my time and do most of my work. That's why I use these all the time, right? Put the baby in front in the morning, 
Great way to wake her up. At night when I'm stretching, I put a smaller unit on and I just stretch in front of that. It's also good just for an ambiance at night. Instead of having like bright LEDs or bright lights from your bathroom, get an LED, put in the corner, and it just has a beautiful red and you can still see. Awesome, right? So I would highly recommend looking into some red light. And if you want to see some, uh, check out some of the models, wildfoods.co, check those out. You can also send me a DM, send us an email. Happy to answer any questions. This is my current obsession right now. I'm very excited about this. And it's just, it really is amazing stuff. And you can actually feel the warmth coming off. You can feel your body just feeling better. It, it's literally fueling your mitochondria because light is energy. This energy is transferring. And with the red and the near red, right? The near infrared, I should say, uh, goes through multiple layers at the cellular level. Whereas like orange and purple, uh, not orange, but maybe more purple, maybe even yellow and green, those don't go deep. They just kind of hit the skin and they bounce off, right? These go deep. And this is why the, the, the red and the near infrared is most heavily studied this way and why you find them in units like this. And I mean, you can literally feel it, right? Now, another fascinating thing, like if you see, you can't really see it here, but if you take your phone and you turn the camera on, this is a pretty cool hack trick. You turn the flash on, not the camera, the flash. Put your finger over the flash, like right here, and then watch how your finger is red. It lights up red. That's because red penetrates through. And so that's all you see. The other lights are blocked. Kind of cool thing. Like when, <laughs> when you nerd out on the spectrum and the colors and all the science of it, and then you're like, oh my gosh, it makes so much sense because the sun and energy and humans and evolution and circadian rhythm and all this stuff. It's crazy, but it's the next thing. It's like the next piece of human health that is like kind of a newer industry. Some people get it, but it's so untapped and so new. The masses haven't caught in yet. And we can literally put these in every hospital, every business, every break room, every room, every bathroom. You could even have just, I mean, the bulbs, you know, that would be tough, but like maybe... Maybe eventually we have that, but maybe we could replace some of these blue lights with red lights. And you have two options, a red light option, and a blue light option, and like stuff, as you can tell, I'm super excited about it. So learn more at wildfoods.co. We have the wild light shop there, plus a wild light guy that you can read and happy to answer any questions.